Yeah, and I also feel that things that I repetitively think about or say, I'm able to manifest. Mm. Like, you know, this house, for example, I manifested this because I obsessively used to take my uncle's Audi and I used to take a girl to Young and Eglinton, Silver City to the movies mm. and then to Pickle Barrel for, for dinner. And then I used to go tell her like, yo, you, you want to go see where I'm going to live one day? Yeah. Because mm. this is where I'm going to live one day. And I, my uncle had an Audi and I used to drive these same three streets right here. That used to be my route right there. I used to come down, wow. down Park Lane where we're at, then back back to Post Road and then back Bridal Path and I used to, and Prince used to live around here. Oh, wow. wow. So I used, to, I used to pretend like I knew which one Prince's <laughs> house was. Every night I'd pick a different house. While you're on the journey, you have to disconnect from the end goal, you know? Because if you're just focused on some end goal, then you're, you might get there, but it'll be hard to progress past that because you're so focused on that one destination that it's like, you know, you, you, you maybe forget everything in between and maybe you could have done more in between. Just be, he always told me like, just be here right now, live right now and do the in best the you can right now. Don't worry about what that end goal is. It's great to have goals, it's great to have dreams, but it's just like you get too attached to it and sometimes it could be a self-destructive thing. So, I mean, I just kind of try and progress as much as I can. Why do you care so much about success? Have you figured that out? I'm just addicted to it. I just, Why? Um, I think that I've sacrificed so much for it already and dedicated so much of my time that um, I have to push it as far as I possibly can because I've uh, given up a lot of years as far as um, maybe like nurturing like personal relationships go and um, you know trying to build things like a, a family or a relationship or a, I don't I don't like I don't do any of that I just kind of work at this point in my life I'm okay with that um, you know as you uh, receive things in life money blessings whatever your appetite begins to grow right so it's like if I give you a million dollars tomorrow um, you're gonna learn what it's like to have a million dollars and then you're gonna start being around people that have ten million dollars mm -hmm. or a hundred million dollars yeah. and you're gonna learn that there's other things that you can't get with a million dollars. So your appetite grows and I think the initial visions that I had for myself just kind of manifest. The feeling I get when I'm out in the world is one of, one of respect. I think that my career has a lot of integrity and I think I'm very excited about that because I think I could have let that drop a bunch of times mm -hmm. and I also think one of my biggest accomplishments is the fact that I didn't let this massive massive change in my life destroy me you know mm -hmm. I still don't I'm, I still don't do drugs you know I drink but even if I drink every day I don't drink to black out I don't right. drink to escape my sadness I don't drink to the point that it affects my family or my career I think I'm just happy that I'm still intact. You know, that's my biggest accomplishment. I made a lot of money. You know, I made a lot of, did a lot of things, been a lot of places, had a lot of opportunities to f this up and yeah. didn't. And you know, I could be at dinner with my mom and still hear her say like, you know, I'm proud, you're still you, you're in there, you know? I'm looking at you, you're there, it's you. It's not like a shell of who you used to be or something like that, you know? And I love my space. I love my work and I love my routine. Mm. And for me to break that for somebody, it would just have to be like a really special person that fits into that puzzle mm. and that is supportive of the things I'm doing. It'd have to be somebody that has taste in music. It'd have to be somebody that, that I get along with so much to the point that when we're separate, I'm feeling like I can't function properly without their presence. I'm really self-conscious about my music and um, even if I do a good job, I always wonder, you know, how I could have done it better. I rarely celebrate anything. And um, just for anyone watching this that's wondering how this happened, you know, that's really the answer. It's, um, it's being so unsure how you're getting it done that you just, you just kind of keep going in the hopes of figuring out the formula. Um, just feeling so lucky and blessed that the fear of losing it keeps you up at night. I didn't really write a grandiose speech about how to make it work or what it took. Because, you know, to be really honest with you, I, I, don't, I don't quite understand it myself. I know that I've spent an incalculable amount of hours trying to analyze all the things I did wrong. You know, when I made a choice, 
to start singing, it was because of something that my father had told me, which was, you know, there's no rapper out there that sings and raps and does it well, does both things well. And he's like, in order to be successful, you're gonna need something other than just what everyone else is doing. Twitter isn't real, by the way. It's not like any, like, there's no gauge on, like, real life on Twitter. That, like, that that's a terrible medium to, like, exist in. And you can enjoy it. You can even indulge in it. But, like, just don't live your life by that weird code on that internet program. So if there's something for you to express, it has to be your own thing. Like, I don't know what you like to do. Maybe you like to, like, do yo-yos, and yo-yo is your self-expression. Weird example, but hey, maybe it's like painting, maybe it's uh, making clothing, like I'm not sure what it is. As far as expressing your feelings, if you happen to be one of those people that's eloquent enough and you, you, know, you enjoy words, then I always encourage you to do it any way you see fit, whether it's poetry, music, or whether it's just direct communication with people. But like, get off the internet. Like, tell somebody like, come meet me for a drink, let's have dinner, let's go for a walk. You know, like real life sh I don't know. Anybody, what you have to understand is like, there's a way to exist in this world that's like, it, we've never had it before, but like, I strongly believe in the fact that if you have a good product, for the first time ever, there's a way to like, get the world to hear your product. And if it's good, you will see the results from it. You understand what I'm saying? Like artists will drop a mixtape and if that mixtape picks up, you know, whether it's like House of Balloons or Party Next Door, like I remember seeing when, when House of Balloons dropped, I remember people being like, yo, I'm in the Netherlands right now listening to House of Balloons. It's like, you, you know, we have such a platform to access the entire world. And my biggest thing to you, your question was how do you, like, I guess, catch the attention? It's just about, finding your own moment, you know, and, and, and having the music be great, as cliche as that sounds, but it's just like, man, you know, there's not a lot of great music to choose from. So when somebody is great, the world will let you know, trust me. It doesn't take me, it doesn't take this guy, the world will let you know. All you have to do is put it out there and there are people who scour the internet every day looking for the next big thing. And I promise you, if that product that you have is potent enough, you will be the next big thing. And I, I feel like that's it, you know? What does money mean to you? Well, I think less than the dollar value, it's just more about um, the idea of growth and business, business mindset to, you know, 25 million um, at the time seemed crazy to me, but when you start becoming a headlining touring act and, you know, brands want to get involved with you and you can go do private events and whatnot, it's, you know, you're capable of making it. And now I wanna, you know, for sure, obviously keep touring, keep making music, but now I see that there's other ways um, as far as like, you know, this global ambassador thing, as far as maybe starting, I wanna invent something. I wanna start a company. I wanna do something that has maybe nothing to do with music. Well, I why do you care so much about success? Have you figured that out? Well, I don't wanna be number two. I think that would be a weird thing to sit here and say, or I don't care, what, you know, I, I, I want to make this, this city proud, you know, uh, that, that's, that's a main reason for me. And number one, it takes a while to even become that. I, 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 don't, I, I, don't, I don't even know what number, it's, it's like number, I hate numbers, by the way, you know. Um, I, I like to say I just want to win, you know. 